This video is to show you how to set up and use general ledger subgroups in Sage BizVision. In this exercise, we're starting with the ABC Electronic Components Company. Let's first take a look at the groups that are specified already in Sage BizVision. To do that, we'll go under System Setup. We click on General Ledger and we click on GL Group Setup. Within here, you can see that we have 30 groups ranging from Group ID 100 all the way down to 760 income tax expense. Now, these groups that are set up in Business Vision, you cannot directly add a group. However, with Sage Business Vision, you can add a subgroup. Um, so it would be like a component of cash, a component of inventory, um, selling expenses, operating expenses. Basically, any one of the three groups can have a subgroup. So let's first explain how to create a subgroup. We'll hit close for now. And the first thing that you need to do to create subgroups is have the ability of creating general ledger accounts. So if we go to utilities, system manager, and user details, we go to access, and under general ledger, and under the options, we see here that we have the ability of adding a new account, modifying account, and deleting accounts. So these are key in when you create uh, subgroups in that if you don't have the ability of creating a new account or modifying it, you cannot create a subgroup as well. So we see here that the default business vision user has the ability of creating, modifying, and deleting accounts. So to create a subgroup, what we'll do here is we'll just simply close. We go to edit, general ledger, and then we go underneath subgroup details. If we click on that, you can see here that there are groups already set up here. Okay. However, we're not going to use these for now. Let's just take a look at um, another area of the GL group maintenance underneath utilities. We go to utilities and under GL account group maintenance, we can see here that we have a chart showing you account number, description, group, and subgroup details. If we scroll down here and look at the subgroup column, you can see here that we are not utilizing any subgroups at all within our uh, within this company. Okay, so if we now print off a balance sheet, for example, we have our cash, we have inventory, we have our current total current assets. Next page are liabilities and our totals at the end. So what we're going to explain in, in this uh, video is how a subgroup really works in relation to your balance sheet, your income statements, and, uh, and, and uh, financial statements. So, And we're going to see basically what it is to suppress a subgroup from printing and where it is not suppressed. Okay, So let's uh, close this for now, or let's just minimize it. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a subgroup. We're going to close this, go to Edit, General Ledger, and then Subgroup Details. What I'm going to do here is we saw in the cash we have Royal Bank, American Express, MasterCard, Visa, and Employee Social Club Fund. So let's say, for example, I wanted to have a so-called group to group in my American Express, MasterCard, and Visa. So to do that, what we're going to do is under the subgroup details, we just click on new. And the subgroup um, area at the top, I can fit up to six characters. So I'm going to put um, C cards, which stands for credit cards. And in description, I will simply put in credit cards. And the group will be cash. Okay, as if you can see uh, in the group drop-down, I got groups 
um, from cash all the way down to income tax expense what we saw earlier in system setup and like I said you cannot directly add to the group but you can create a subgroup to compensate for that okay so in this case here I'm gonna put this as a cash group um, I'm not gonna suppress for now but the suppress printing I'll show you that uh, later on when I run reports um, we'll hit save and it's right here C cards credit cards so if we close this for now and we now go underneath utilities GL account group maintenance we can simply go to the area for my my uh, cash receipts or now in this case American Express uh, MasterCard and Visa we go here and click on the drop down you'll see here that the, under the cash there is a credit card okay this is the one that we just added okay I will click on this and we shall now click on the other one for MasterCard and the last one for Visa okay so what we're doing is we're creating a subgroup to consolidate um, all three accounts into one subgroup called credit cards so for, with this we'll hit the save button and we will close and if we now go underneath the reporting suite or I can simply go back here print up a balance sheet June 30th hit OK and now you're gonna see credit cards 85820.07 so if we look at the former we have American Express, MasterCard and Visa so what this credit cards is signifying is signifying MasterCard American Express and Visa now when we ran this balance sheet this credit card has the total of all three accounts in there so if we jump back to business vision and click on the print balance sheet by default we are suppressing all the details okay so let's see what happens if I want to see all the accounts that make up the subgroup of credit cards if I click on the down arrow and go under suppress none and I click OK we will now see <clears throat> that we have credit cards now as a title and the three accounts showing up directly below it okay let's look at the initial report we have 24,420 19,402 41,997 if we look at the last report where we did not suppress any details we will now see these exact figures right here now we've set up one subgroup currently uh, in the balance sheet um, however it is possible to add many subgroups to your income statement to your balance sheet depending on your business uh, practically an unlimited number of uh, combinations can be used within the software let's take another example uh, under our inventory this time we say uh, inventory uh, at cost from batteries all the way down to televisions inventory variants let's close these down and we'll create a new subgroup to do that again go to edit general ledger and subgroup details and we have one here already for computer property plant and equipment so let's take a look at the profile here that looks good cancel and what we'll do here is we'll go to the GL group account maintenance and in this way we're gonna go to the subgroup details and let's take for example computer equipment and let's take a tools and test I'll just put that as a computer for now for this example we'll hit save again and we'll reprint 
the balance sheet, suppressing all details. We'll hit OK. And we now have computer in here as part of property, plan, and equipment group. Okay. Now, another example we can focus on is on the income statement. So, if I print an income statement for June, you can see here that we have gross sales, we also have cost goods sold, operating expenses, and the last part here, gains and losses, total expenses. So, let's create one more, last one, for the income statement. And this one, what we'll do is we'll focus on possibly cost goods sold. Okay, so minimize this. Go back under Edit, General Ledger, Subgroup Details. And we'll click on New. Cost goods sold. Home theater. And the 30 groups show up. Cost goods sold, and we'll save that. Okay, we have now the COGS, cost, good, cost of goods sold subgroup setup under home theater. Let's close this part, and we've seen adding the subgroup as part of the GL account maintenance as a grid here. Another way of adding it is if you were to close this, go to general ledger directly and we can simply go to the account that we want to set this for. So the cost of goods sold, I'm going to pick here as home theater, home theater systems. Subgroup, I'll just click on the magnifying glass and I will select home theater, COGS, hit save, and I'll pick another account here. Say personal music. Click on save, and the last one I'm going to pick is television and components. Home theater, save, and now if we run a income statement now, I'm not going to suppress the details. We hit OK. You can now see Home Theater has been moved into a subgroup by itself. So if we look at the first income statement, and if we compare the two, we'll see here that there is no subgroup in this one, whereas in the second report, the subgroup is now here. 33, 91, 15, and the same accounts here. 33, 91, 15. Okay, now part of the subgroup called Home Theater. Okay. Another very powerful feature of using subgroups is the suppression. If we close this for now, click on Edit, General Ledger, and Subgroup Details, you can see here that I don't have any suppressions on any of the subgroups so far. What I'm going to do here is under the credit cards, I'm going to say suppress printing. What this basically means is that when I print a income statement, uh, balance sheet, or comparative performance, if I say uh, suppress printing is checked, I will only see the total of that subgroup. Okay? I'm going to leave this for now and hit save. So the suppression is set to yes. Close and I'm going to print the balance sheet again. 
I'm going to suppress none, and let's see how that looks first. When I suppress none, I can see my credit card subgroup with three accounts directly below it. If I was to say suppress all detail, I'm going to see one line, which is the subgroup with the grand total of all three accounts. So if we compare one to the other, we have the combination of all three into the last report where I suppressed all detail. If we go back, the last option is to suppress none, which basically means regardless of the suppression, it will print every account, every subgroup in all detail. This is the is the none basically um, provides the most detail with all accounts and no suppressions at all. Cancel. And the, the last uh, report that we're going to see is the subgroup list. If we click on this and, in, and run this report, we can see all the subgroups that I've defined or created in Business Vision so far. Let's see what happens when we run a financial statement with subgroups being suppressed and some that are not. Let's go back underneath the GL account group maintenance and we are going to go down to the office furniture and fixtures and we're going to put in the furniture as a subgroup. I'm going to do it for these few here. I'll hit save. So let's take a look at the subgroup again. You can see here that furniture is set to no suppression. Credit cards is set to suppression. This would mean that if we print a balance sheet, and we are going to say based on subgroup, I would expect that the property, the furniture one, would be suppressed. Sorry, will not be suppressed and the credit cards will be. We hit OK. Credit cards is suppressed and if we look here at the furniture it is unsuppressed. If we close this and now we're going to say suppress all details. We're going to have credit cards as one line and furniture as one line. As you can see in this example, the use of subgroups can expand your general ledger balance sheet, income statement, and your comparative performance reports significantly and can potentially add an unlimited number of combinations to your reporting purposes. Thank you.